Okay, this is a startup video of an Okamoto 818 NC surface grinder. I'm just grinding a uh, heat treated H13 plastic injection mold uh, cavity. And in the control here, basically, I have two plunge grinds that are gonna rough out this area here, make it a nice sharp corner. And then four traverse surface grinds that will finish the surface out to the end and this surface out to this end. And uh, the grinder's very accurate. It repeats within a tenth every time. It's uh, self-dressing and uh, with an auto compensation. So after every dress, it'll reset its offset so you don't have to do any of that. And uh, this grinder also has a ball screw in the X axis, which is the longitudinal traveling axis of the table. That allows us to uh, set up like a whirly jig, do uh, round work, and it will return to that center point every time in between programs to maintain that accuracy. So basically to run it, this is a very crude video. You just go to monitor. I'm running programs one through six. It, um, I mean, this is all just arbitrary right now because I jogged the head up out of the way. But I'll hit cycle start. Hit cycle start once more. The grinder's going to start jogging down. Um, there's no initial dress on this program just because the wheel is still fresh from a finishing pass of the last insert. So now the grinder is ready. It's turned the coolant on. It comes up with a program stop. So I tell it once more to start the cycle and the grinder will start cutting. So right now it starts at a 44 thousandths from its final grind. Just straight plunge grind. Taking two tenths per pass. It's a uh, 46G grinding wheel. So really an open wheel, but uh, it works well for this. It gives me a nice enough finish that I don't have to come back with like a 60 grit. So, and that's it, we'll do that for about 20 minutes. It'll jump over, do this groove for about 20 minutes. And then it'll take another half hour to finish out all this flat area. But then I end up with a final cavity that looks very similar to this. And it's a very nice blend. These are two different setups, but they are blended within a 10th or better so it's actually pretty awesome that's it